So wig theory was all about the overall picture. When I say overall picture, I mean, what does someone just look like? When you look at them and they're dancing, does it look cool? Does it look weird? Does it look spazzy? Why does it look the way it looks? And one of the first things that people see when they look at a picture or when they just look at somebody dancing is their posture. So posture is super important because it says a lot about you. If someone is standing in a certain way, it says maybe that they, how they're feeling that day, how they feel about themselves, how they feel about their body. So you wanna stand with your best possible posture all the time because it tends to project confidence and that confidence translates to cool when you're dancing by yourself at a party or whatever. So how do you stand with good posture? Simple way. There are some bones right behind your ears. Take your ear bones, put them over your shoulders, the socket of your shoulder. Put the socket of your shoulder over your hip socket. Hip socket over your knees, knees over your ankle bone. The ankle bone is the bump on the outside there. Uh, so if you can stack all of those things, ear bones over shoulders, shoulders over hip bones, hip bones over knees, over ankle bones, then I call that good posture. <laughs> you can also look at it in terms of the curves of the spine to get a little more detail. The neck should curve slightly forward, concave. The rib cage area should curve slightly back. From the rib cage to the hips, that's your lumbar spine, your low back, that should curve slightly forward. And, and the tailbone itself has a little anatomical curve underneath. You don't even need to worry about that because it's just the way the bones are shaped. You won't be able to do much to change it. Uh, the problem is most people take their tailbone and they curl it under too much. So in between the sacrum and the low back, they curl under. The problem with that, you can see now my hips are rolled forward. It automatically drops your chest. Your low back loses its proper curve, its concave curve. By dropping the chest, also it drops the head weight forward. It's bad for the knees, tends to roll the feet in, uh, creates all sorts of problems through the body. So instead, we're gonna take, we're gonna have the tail or the sacrum pointing slightly back. If you had a tail attached to your sacrum, you should have space for it behind you. Then with that there, that'll restore the curve of the low back, the concave curve. We want to balance that concave curve by lifting up slightly through the abdominal muscles. Because if we just curve this way and the abdominal muscles are relaxed, we get too much curve and it creates pressure on the mid-back. So we're gonna put the tail behind us, lift up through the abdominal muscles, and then try to open the chest. We want to feel that the collarbones, these bones across the front, are as wide and long and open as possible. That helps us to keep the shoulders in the back of the body instead of the shoulders being attached to the front of the body. We want the shoulders to be part of the back. That will then restore the curve of the neck and the head over the shoulders. But all of it is based on where your hips are. So the same thing is true when you're seated. When you're seated, you want to feel like your tail has space behind you. With that, we lift up through the abdominal muscles, roll the shoulders back, over the chest, have the ear bones over the shoulders, over the hips. Even if you're seated, you can have your knees over your ankle bones. So that's a great posture to practice when you're sitting, working, when you're driving, when you're walking, when you're standing, and when you're dancing. So whenever you're dancing, you want to keep your best posture um, because that's going to project how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your body. So much of whether people look good or bad on the dance floor, at least to me, is their confidence. If they, feel, if they look confident, they're gonna look so much better doing whatever they're doing, even if it's like a stupid move. <laughs> they're gonna look better doing it if they look like they have confidence, and a lot of that is their posture. So you have to practice your posture all day, every day, um, so that when you get on the dance floor, it's automatic. Because if you sit or stand like this all day, then when you get on the dance floor, this is what you're going to do. And then it's going to look not as cool, even if it's a great move. So practice your posture, and I'll see you soon in class.